KS45 time. Baby, we're going to go through everything you need to know to fast and efficiently unlock gold for the worst SMG in the game. Fastest way to unlock camos is to have your weapon max level so you have multiple camo categories unlocked and you can work on multiple camo challenges at the same time. Fastest way to level up is going to be playing Nuketown 24-7 with the KSP45 or if you already have it leveled up within zombies, you can do so. Take advantage of double weapon XP weekends because you level up extremely fast and in zombies with three friends, you can get your KSP to max level in only 45 minutes. All the camo challenges are the same across all SMGs, so we're going to fly through them really quick. At level 0, you unlock the spray category, which is 300 illuminations. At weapon level 5, stripes, which is 75 headshots. At weapon level 10, classic, which is 20 bloodthirsties, which requires you to get 5 kills in a single life 20 times. And it does stack, so if you get 10, you get 2 progressions, 15 for 3, so on and so forth. But keep in mind, it only counts if you use only the KSP 45. At weapon level 20, you unlock geometric, which is 50 long shots shots at weapon level 50 you unlock floor which is 75 kills while the enemy is affected by score streaks equipment or field upgrades at weapon level 40 you have science which is 50 point blank kills and at weapon level 50 you have psychedelic which is 25 double kills when i was grinding the ksp camos the attachments that i used throughout the entire time were the suppressor which just adds stealth the 10.5 task barrel the reason i ran this is because it increases your damage and bullet velocity so you're killing faster at longer ranges and you don't have to lead your shots as much as you normally would with the standard barrels with the ksp which means you're more accurate at longer ranges for my grip i have the sdof speed grip this increases some of your speed attachments as well as your horizontal and vertical recoil control for my gun wrap i have the serpent wrap i know this isn't the best wrap possible but it doesn't decrease your sprint to fire time which really benefits you for playing nuketown 24 7 or just small maps and for my stock i have the raider stock which will increase your sprint to fire and aim down sight moving speed you really want this on maps like nuketown where you want to fire as soon as possible especially in close range situations where you want to get point blank kills as much as possible for the odd time that i'm going for long shots i will actually take off the stock attachment and throw on the axial arms three times scope just gives you that extra benefit of being able to zoom in farther and being more accurate at long range. Now let's go in depth to the camo challenges so you guys get the help that you need to fastly unlock these camo challenges. So for the spray category and the stripes category, it's just eliminations and headshots, which you will complete just through gun use. If you're struggling with headshots, one shot kills in hardcore at all ranges, as long as you're aiming for the head. And if enemies are camping or just not moving very much in general, aim for their head just because they're easy targets. For your bloodthirsties, spawn trapping on Nuketown, regardless of the game mode, if it's core or hardcore, hardcore domination, if you can spawn trap and dom, core domination or hard point or even combined arms hard point or assault all these game modes have lots of easy predictable spawns where you can kill multiple enemies going on large kill streaks for doing tactical kills constantly be running uavs counter uavs and the harp if you're playing on nuketown use smoke grenades or stun grenades constantly to disorient enemies and get that advantage of getting this challenge done also if you are on nuketown throw a jammer or the field mic in the opposing spawns building this makes it so whenever an enemy comes out of their spawn if you kill them just in their front street or within their house or even their spawn themselves each kill will count towards this challenge as long as your score streaks or field upgrades are active to complete your long shots once again i recommend the three time scope and play on maps like satellite raid crossroads either on the river side or the b flag side and if you're crazy enough combined arms long shots don't require that much skill it's just really being accurate with your gun which if you're on controller can be super easy and if you're a mouse and keyboard player usually you can control your recoil extremely easily even though this is a burst smg to do point blanks i highly recommend rushing with stuns or smoke on small maps like nuketown i did all of my point blank kills on nuketown by simply rushing the enemy spawn and trying to flank them going up behind enemies that didn't know i was there and then just running up to them and killing them for point blank Blanks. really easy if you're in the houses you can camp using corners and when an enemy walks past you just run up behind them and get that easy kill or if enemies are camping in windows you can kill them while they're trying to shoot your team and if you don't like nuketown i highly recommend playing hardpoint assault or combined arms hardpoint 
this is a game mode where enemies are always going towards the objective and you can use your smokes and stun grenades to stun and disorient enemies on the objectives get up nice and close to them and complete point blanks and the last challenge was double kills you should complete this challenge naturally but if you're not a good player who can go into high action situations camping by objectives or trying to spawn trap or just play nuke ton 24 7 double kills should come easier to you the best maps and game modes for the KSP45 is, as I've said, Nuketown 24-7 because it's small, fast-paced with lots of action, and there's lots of opportunity to do this SMG-specific challenges because SMGs really shine on that map, regardless of if it's core or hardcore. If you are a core player, Domination or Hardpoint are the best objective game modes to do challenges on, and if you're a hardcore player, domination and if you like combined arms i highly recommend combined arms assault and hardpoint just for the same reasons of active objectives and lots of enemies by those objectives because they are forced to spawn there i hope this guide did help those who are struggling with the ksp 45 one tip that i can add extra is you just got to get used to the gun and how it performs if you have done tack rifles and the pistols you have a weird combination of pistol movement with tack rifle burst damage and recoil control so if you've done those weapons already this should be but if you've only been using full auto weapons this can be a little bit difficult leave a like if you did enjoy dislike if you didn't there are no hard feelings subscribe for more videos in the future check the description for the full dark ether and dark matter guides playlist and uh, if there is one I'll see you in the next one. Peace.